Hey guys, Scott Canterbury, uh, sitting down in the basement going through some tackle, trying to get everything organized. But I was holding a 5 8 dirty jigs, Canterbury flipping jig in my hand. Thought it'd be a good time to tell you uh, what my favorite three choices for trailers would be. And that's something that, you know, I'm bad about changing colors of trailers to give it a jig a different accent and things like that. But the different style of trailers that I'm gonna show you is what I was wanting to get into. Um, something that I always have liked and always hope probably will like is just a chunk style trailer. Not a bunch of action, something that get, helps your bait sort of glide, doesn't, not wide with big appendages or anything that catches on any kind of vegetation or anything if you're trying to get your jig into a tight place. And something that I've been using a lot lately, last year I caught a bunch of big ones on it, hopefully gonna catch some this year, net bait dagger. It's a four and a half inch bait, uh, designed for flipping. You know, that bait, I won a lot of money with that bait last year, flipping big grass or heavy grass with a big rod, big weight, and uh, goes in and out of cover really, really good. It's super soft, different profile. The sides collapse when it, when you got a big weight on it, gets into tight places, goes through grass really good. But what I do for jig is I cut about a half inch of it off and I just thread it up on here, keep it straight. Come right out the top, all the way up. And that's a really, really good jig trailer. I caught a lot of big ones on it last year. Got a, some stuff coming out in the magazine to be showing that. But uh, that's an awesome jig trailer. It's a net bait dagger. That's number one choice uh, I like, because I like a chunk style trailer a lot of times. Another thing, that's been a go-to forever. Just a regular old pocket chunk. If you like a lot of action, uh, you can go to the senior. If you're around big fish, you can go to that senior. It's a little bit bigger. I usually go to the pocket chunk. And if you want your jig, there's two different ways I'll rig it. If you want it sort of compact, um, which I do a lot, especially if you're fishing around several boats. Just go straight in, keep it straight, come right out between the eyes, push it up over that barb to keep it up there. Got yourself a nice compact jig trailer. And that's a pocket chunk. Been a go-to for years and years and years. If you're wanting a little bigger profile, catching big fish, or they seem active, fish are really hitting it good and they seem active, or if you're swimming in a lot and you want some more action, I just go down about three, quarter inch down the bait, go right through it, and just hook it on there, just like so. That's the way I use it on a swim jig a lot of times. That's the way I rig it on my swim jig just about all the time, is I just hook it on. But this is a flipping jig, and I do it a little bit different. I can do compact, or I can make it a little bigger. That's the pocket chunk, or the pocket chunk senior. Another choice that uh, I know a lot of people use for flipping, uh, a lot of people use it for jig trailers. I know a lot of big tournaments have been won on this, using it as a football jig trailer, but it's just a baby pocket crawl. It's going to have pretty much the same action. It's a hollow bait. It's not like the pocket slim, which is a solid bait that I've gone to for flipping. But this is an awesome jig trailer, and you just hook it the same way and thread it straight on. It's got a midsection. I usually come out right behind that midsection. Keep it straight, push it all the way up over that. You got yourself a nice jig, chunk, trailer. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of kicking action. And one thing you can do with that that people you do, and I've been taught, but uh, you know, in that hollow section, you can insert a rattle. Put a rattle in there. Anytime you're pitching that and it hits on some rock or you're hitting it on some wood, you're flipping grass and you pull it up to that mat and you shake it, creating a rattle. Uh, a little bit of attraction. Sounds like some craw crawfish painters, maybe. It's uh, just something to get a little bass's attention. Put a rattle inside that and try it some, and that's the that is a baby pocket crawl. That's you know three great choices. Three that's in my boat all the time. 
jig trailers that'll work anywhere in the country. So uh, give them a try. Keep up with us. Keep up with us here at Net Bay, and uh, hopefully we're going to have a good season. We're ready to kick this thing off and get 2021 started. Looking forward to seeing you guys and keeping up with you. Thanks for watching.